So we, we, we're talking about what we call the Dangote uh, Concrete Road Project. This is basically about 30 kilometers of a road that takes you from the wharf, Apapa, right past the airport and out to Overazon Soki. Uh, high tech has been brought in to become involved as the, let's call it, uh, subcontractor for uh, Dangote to uh, construct the road. The continuously reinforced concrete pavement is precisely what it says. It's got longitudinal continuous steel in it that keeps it together very much like a footbridge, uh, literally keeping it together and overcoming the shortcoming or the big disadvantage of concrete is it cannot take tension. So that the biggest problem which we have in general with roads in Nigeria, Lagos, is what I would call the lack of proper attention to drainage. Uh, the drainage provision that was uh, provided for on this road, the old existing road, was in most cases not just inadequate, it was also a type of drainage provision that did not allow proper maintenance or was not properly maintained as such. One of the key elements which helps us to do the acceleration is in fact to have used the old asphalt layers which are of variable thickness and to recycle that with a Vertkin uh, recycling machine. Then we bring in good quality material called the stone base or the crushed stone crusher run material, uh, freshly crushed hard rock, which is again spread out with a grader, etc. The cement is added. Okay, they, they're going to spread the cement yeah. at the specified application rate, which will mean 3% of cement mixed in into 300 millimeters of the total uh, cement treated base, passing the in-situ recycler which is going to do this recycling and mixing in. Precisely the same sound, which shows you this is very hard, which is very good for the support of the concrete uh, that's still going to be put on top of this. The steel is placed in very specific ways. The concrete is mixed in a very specific, uh, let's call it recipe. Then further of placing the concrete is actually that it is brought on site from the, the mixing plant or the batching plant. The front end loader actually picks it up and places it on top of the uh, reinforcement that has been placed to specification and then the paver with a kind of an auger at the front and vibrating plates and pokers and other vibrators and smoothing plate at the back literally slides over it, vibrates it to get out all the air. Curing compound being sprayed on top to prevent the water from evaporating and so that the hydration process of the concrete actually proceeds uh, with enough water in it as well. There is also a tining machine. A tining machine is basically like a rake. It actually scratches the surface to improve the skid resistance. Mm -hmm. 